Hello everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today or this morning. On our prayer request, Vanessa's brother-in-law Ed has been given six months to a year to live. Please pray for him and the family. And uh, Vanessa was in the hospital uh, with colon issues. Pray she'll be okay. Uh, she's at home, though, uh, now waiting on the results of the biopsy. Patricia Anderson has COVID. Pray she's better soon. Danielle Rogers has an unspoken request. Tweet's grandson needs prayers for strength and guidance in all he does and to stay away from any temptations. Cheryl's son, Josh, and his mother-in-law both have COVID. Pray they get better soon. Kathy had an MRI on her leg and the results are not good. Pray they can help her get better. Colleen's friend, Judy, passed away. Pray for her family and friends. And Libby's sister is back in the hospital and her son was shipped out to the Middle East. Pray they both will be okay. And Beth was in the hospital, uh, but is home now. Her potassium levels are dangerously high. Pray she gets better. Okay. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Acts 4. 32 through 35. All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. For from time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them, brought the money from the sales, and put it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone who had need. Okay. Let me drink water. Okay. Our um, devotion today is entitled, Extending Grace to Others. Our son spent the early years of his life in a children's home prior to our adopting him. Before leaving the cinder block building together to go home, we asked to collect his belongings. Sadly, he had none. We exchanged the clothes he was wearing for the new items we brought for him and also left some clothing for the other children. Even though I was grieved by how little he had, I rejoiced that we could now help meet his physical and emotional needs. A few years later, we saw a person asking for donations for families in need. My son was eager to donate his stuffed animals and a few coins to help them. Given his background, he might have understandably been more inclined to hold tightly to his belongings. I'd like to think the reason for his generous response was the same as that of the early church. God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that nobody in their midst had need. The people willingly sold their own possessions to provide for one another's needs. When we become aware of the needs of others, whether material or intangible, may God's grace be so powerfully at work in us that we respond as they did, willingly giving from our hearts to those in need. This makes us vessel of God's grace as fellow believers in Jesus, one in heart and mind. How is God's grace at work in you? What could you share with others as a manifestation of his grace? Thank you, God, for all you've given me, including your grace. Help me to extend your grace to others. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that 
so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great morning, and I will see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.